On October 6th, a new book based on Game of Thrones will be coming out. Notice how I said Game of Thrones and not A Song of Ice and Fire. Well, that's because this book won't be written by George Martin. The author for this one is James Hibbard, and he somehow got a co-sign for his book by George Martin himself. It's called Fire Cannot Kill a Dragon, Game of Thrones and the Untold Story of the Series. Which means he'll be delving into the show's development and only that. Starting from the years stuck in pre-production up until where we are now with House of the Dragon. HBO's next show based in the past of the Game of Thrones world. James Hibbard, a name even the most hardcore fans probably won't recognize, got all this access because of his time as a reporter with Entertainment Weekly. I don't know what the ties between Entertainment Weekly and HBO are, but somehow they always got insider information that other media outlets never had over the years Game of Thrones was airing. And one of the topics they're using to sell Fire Cannot Kill a Dragon is the coveted pilot episode that never aired because of how bad it apparently turned out to be. The actor who played Viserys called it a $10 million rehearsal. We've got some stories about how different the pilot in comparison to the entirely reshot premiere episode, and I've made a video about that that I'll link at the end of this video. But because James Hibbert's interviews with the cast and crew, we've gotten some more info. Cersei talks about her drastic wardrobe change, going from a Vegas showgirl type of look to the one we see. A producer talks about Joffrey previously having a bowl cut but changed that because it didn't give him the malevolent look the psychotic kid prince needed. Mark Eddy, the badass actor that killed it as Robert Baratheon, goes into detail with James about characters not kneeling to him in the pilot, which is pretty necessary if you're trying to show viewers who the king of the whole place is. But the biggest revelation comes from an interview with George Martin himself. He says to James, The biggest thing was Dan David called me up and had the idea of eliminating Rickon the youngest of the Stark children, because he didn't do much in the first book. I said I had important plans for him, so they kept him. I think they should have ignored George's advice and cut him out with the way they handled his character. There was limitless possibilities. Instead, they made him return home after years of off-screening, just to be killed off with little impact in the overall story. They did a very similar move with Varys in the final season. If I were to pick up and read this thing, it would solely be for George Martin's thoughts on decisions made by D.B. Weiss and David Benioff specifically the universally disliked final season. The only thing I remember reading about George Martin's reaction to it was it was unfaithful to his story or whatever he outlined for the writers. A full-fledged transcript of an interview would be a fun read. So far, most of the selling points on Entertainment Weekly's website of Fire Cannot Kill a Dragon is interviews with the stars of the cast, Kit Harington, Amelia Clark, Peter Dinklage, and so on. But they've only been all positive and media trained about the ending can't throw their career away with bashing their own show. That's asking to be blackballed. I really don't care to go on and on about this book. I find it more funny than interesting that this could be turned into a full book. Don't get me wrong, James Hibbard is more than qualified for this type of venture. I read somewhere while researching that he was nominated for Journalist of the Year in 2019 by the LA Press Club for his coverage of Game of Thrones. But the author could have just written some articles or YouTube videos like us cool kids do. Maybe I'm wrong here, and his claims of exciting new and never-before-heard stories will have us hardcore fans nose deep. But if any of you do pick it up, and think it's worth reading, let me know. Comments, emails, whatever. I'm sure I'll see it. Hopefully. Probably. But yeah, I'm gonna go back to working on a better video. See you guys when that's out next week. Thanks for watching. Fire cannot kill a dragon.